Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Cloud, and I'm here to talk to y'all, of course, about any events that's going on in the world, whether you care or whether you don't. Anyway, today I'm here to talk about Kyrie Irving refusing to get vaxxed. God, YouTube, please don't strike my video. Anyway, listen. So the sports world has been in a frenzy since the reports were going around that the Brooklyn Nets point guard Kyrie Irving would not be getting his 19 shot. Because you know we can't say it. It has been reported that he was allowed to practice with the Nets but would not be allowed to play any official NBA games unless he got at least one 19 shot. This is coming after New York City started their 19 shot mandates. As of Tuesday, it has been escalated to him basically being benched out and not allowed to participate in any team activities. As of today or Wednesday, it has been reported that the Nets decided to expunge his extension worth $186 million for a four-year contract, plus a $16 million salary for the rest of the year, totaling to around $202 million loss. It is understood the team tried to accommodate both Kyrie and the NBA where he couldn't play at the home games, only the away games, due to the New York's 19-shot mandates. Unfortunately, it wasn't going to work, so the Nets said they had to move on and make the decision to bench him. They're saying it was a good decision because they had other things to focus on and didn't have time to be worried about the Kyrie situation. Kyrie then took the IG live about an hour or two ago, at the time of me writing this, basically last night, to discuss all the controversy that has just been circulating over the internet in the sports world. I mean, the term damn Kyrie was trending right for a few hours on Twitter. Then it disappeared and just, after he went on live, it turned into just Kyrie. And now it's and Kyrie today. But anyway, he explained and gave us his side on things, saying that he has a right to have questions about the mandates and that no one should have control over another person's body. He says that he wants to stand with the people that are losing their jobs for standing in their beliefs and the quote-unquote voiceless. He has no hard feelings to the Nets and feels that he has a duty to serve the world. At the end of his life, he low-key threw shots at Stephen A. Smith. Oh, shit. Stephen A. Smith. Sorry, Stephen Curry. To play his live or certain pieces of it on his show. This is coming after Stephen A. Smith went on a tirade about Kyrie not playing anymore saying that he is just making himself look stupid after getting James Harden and Kevin Durant to join him in Brooklyn and not carrying out his organization's mission of getting a championship this year. Anyway, what are y'all's thoughts on this? Now, here's mine. I'm going to be fair and say I do understand where Kyrie is coming from. I do. I can empathize with anyone feeling a certain way about the... I'm not to say it, but the, uh, the shots... I understand because, again, it was kind of rushed. I understand having questions and stuff like that. But at the same time, let's not sit here and pretend that this thing is not ravaging throughout the unshotted community. While it's ravaging them, they're also still spreading it to people that are now considered, God, I hope I'm allowed to say this, but breakthrough cases. God, let me say it. I feel like we've seen this specific type of movie before in the theaters where there's like an illness that goes around and literally everyone is begging for a cure. You know, you know, you sit in the movie theater and there's the audience and they're like, you know, they'll say the answer of, oh, maybe it should be a vaccine or a cure. So I'm confused as now why like it's not okay to have a shot or the cure. This whole ordeal is prolonged now. Like I said, it was cool at first. Like, outside of all the infections and death, it was different, and it was a lot less traffic on the road back in, like, early 2021. It saved me a lot of money. Hell, I even made a lot of money from GameStop, AMC, and the Doge ordeal. The stimuluses were nice, too, and I love being able to hide my ugly face that all my classmates said I had back in high school behind a mask. But now, with it being almost 2022, I'm ready to put it behind me. I mean, it's bad enough that the very late boomers in the Gen X, Y, Z, Alpha, and whoever after will have to deal with the effects of this whole entire ordeal. The longer we keep prolonging this thing, I'm afraid the consequences will just get worse in the long run. Even though Kyrie hasn't made it a political thing, it really bothers me that the shot in mass have become a political issue slash divide instead of it being the gateway and priority of keeping people alive. All I can say is that this ordeal was not the first and most certainly won't be the last thing to further divide an already divided country. 
everything that has happened in this country is what happens when we treat politics like it is a sport and our elections like it is a Super Bowl or in Kyrie's case, the playoffs. Anyways, what do you guys think? Give your opinions below and please be respectful of one another. Clout is out. I'm signing off, guys. Be safe out here.